The boxer took defensive action against an Iranian drone, which had closed into a very, very near distance, approximately 1,000 yards, ignoring multiple calls to stand down and was threatening the safety of the ship and the ship's crew. The drone was immediately destroyed. Tensions escalating with Iran. President Trump making a major announcement in what he calls was a defensive action. And now we know that the U.S. used an electronic jamming device to take down that drone, at least according to the latest reports from the Pentagon. Fox News national security and foreign policy analyst Waleed Faris joins us now. Waleed, this should come as no surprise to anyone, but where do we go from here? Look, first of all, on our show, on your show, we projected that after the first drone attack by the Iranians, that there will be other drones-related incidents, and here we have one today. But this time, and it's not happening in neutral airspace or in inside Iran, it's happening at a few hundred feet or maybe more from a USS ship. This means that the Iranians are trying to push a little bit more the, the red line towards us, which prompted, as the president say, said, this, uh, this immediate reaction of self-defense by the battleship. If we are going to be specific, Waleed, sorry, it was Christina here. Um, I wanted to bring in Saudi Arabia because you just mentioned that. So the fact that the United States not only is uh, they're, they're shooting down a drone a thousand yards just from the ship, but then you also have the United States alluding to increasing their military presence and working with Saudi Arabia. So if you have that hostility plus working with Saudi Arabia, couldn't that mean, you know, something's really brewing and coming soon? Yes, absolutely. Actually, the United States is working with what they call the Arab coalition that would include Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Bahrain, uh, other countries. It's, it's already a fact. The question now, what would the Iranians do next? I think you're interested in that projection. Right. It, it, it seems to me that the Iranians are going to reply to this incident. I don't know how or where. Nobody knows. Not even our intelligence. Too fresh. But they are now in a deadlock situation where they will have to respond because of their public opinion. Because uh, although, of their look, this is a, a weird new era of warfare where you have a unmanned vehicles, unmanned mm -hmm. drones, surveillance vehicles being shot down by one side or the other. Usually there are people involved and there's an immediate yeah. response. We don't quite know what to do around our equipment being destroyed and then destroying yeah, but their how equipment. Is this how, how is that? I mean, Waleed, I was surprised to hear you say that you think it's up to what Iran does next. I would think it would be up to what America does next. I mean, wasn't this, in effect, another attack on an American ship? And I mean, it almost seems as if they're baiting us for a war. Should we give it to them? No. Uh, we should not. We should continue to do what we're doing right now. But one little detail is very important, caught my attention. How did we get rid of that drone? Not with an anti-missile missile. It was jamming. I mean, this, this is telling me that we are in an era where there's no chance in terms of comparing our technologies with jamming. We are bringing down a, a, a drone. Now, the Iranians will try different things, but they, too, don't want a full-fledged confrontation. They would lose it. But at the same time, they want to intimidate us. They want to intimidate our allies in the Gulf, and they want to wait as long as possible. So maybe a change in politics in, in the United States will be their only chance. Waleed, it feels, this is Gary Kalpam, uh, it feels like, uh, for lack of a better word, we're kind of like playing footsie with them, uh, with these little things, and I know they're big things, but uh, back and forth. A at what point do we jump over the, mm. the net here in that uh, they're doing some pretty provocative stuff, and how long to the point where we just say we're not going to take it anymore and we have to take some offense? Not the technological warfare that we're doing right now, toy to toy, that we see. We could, we could see many of those incidents. We should not jump and be shocked. But if the Iranians or their militias, and not just in the Gulf, in Syria and Iraq, and that's where they are gathering, will harm us, harm our soldiers, it's a different ballgame at this point in time. Although, Waleed, we are also taking provocative action in the sense that we are military ships off of their borders. I mean, this is not a, a one-sided set of provocations, is it? It's a pressure that we are applying. I mean, nobody is shy about it in Washington. The president, the administration have said we are putting all this pressure for the Iranians to start to withdraw from Iraq and Syria or come to the table of negotiations. I agree with you. It's not a one-sided issue. Do we continue to allow them to, to ship oil out? Or do we actually Look, take more aggressive measures? Like, what do we do from this point in terms of their, you know, attacking them economically? The pressure is working. We're going notch after notch. I mean, we don't need to be, you know, sudden on them. But at the same time, the Iranians have to choose. 
table of negotiations, or they're going to do these pinpricks attacks against us. But to Jonathan's point, I mean, we're, we're going the, at the this really working? at a slow pace. How do we the, actually if get the to pressure, resolution? If the pressure's... Yeah, if the pressure's working, Wally, it seems as if the Iranians keep, to even to your point, upping the ante here, escalating. I, I just don't see how you can make the case the pressure's working, is it? It depends on what's going to happen, not outside Iran, but inside Iran. The moment you're going to see demonstrations, the moment you're going to see an order breaking down inside Iran, then we're in business, then they will come to the table of negotiations. The most important thing for them is for the regime to survive.